When you're a fragrance lover like I am, you tend to smell a lot of fragrances when you get the chance. And every now and again, you come across one that only deepens your love and passion for the art of perfumery. I have one that I want to talk about today. It's called Amber Oud by Roja Parfums. Let's talk about it. Before I get into the review, as always, if you guys are new to this channel, or maybe you are not new to this channel, but you are into fragrance-related content like this, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell icon for notifications for all future uploads. Okay, so let's get into it. Amber Oud is a fragrance released by the company Roja Parfums. It was released in 2012 and is classified as an amber spicy fragrance. In the notes, we have bergamot, lime, lemon, rose, fig, ylang ylang, jasmine, oud, ambergris, saffron, cinnamon, birch, civet, orris root, musk, oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. That is an insanely long note list, but it is reflected in the complexity of this fragrance, which we'll get into in a little bit. In terms of price point, you can expect to pay $765 for a bottle of this size. Um, it also comes in a travel size, a 30 mil, um, that I believe retails for $430. Um, in terms of Finding these fragrances discounted, it's gonna be very hard to do so. Uh, Roja is a very exclusive brand. They only are carried in certain retailers around the world, um, and they're very good about keeping their fragrances off the gray market. So you can expect uh, with their fragrances, most of the time you're gonna be paying full price. When it comes to seasons and occasions for Amber Oud, this is actually a very versatile fragrance in my experience. So, um, you know, it has some fresher elements, it has some darker elements. Um, the fresher elements make it suitable for, um, you know, the warmer weather. I wouldn't wear this necessarily in the high, high summer heat, um, but summer evenings, this could work really well in. Um, also the cooler weather, I feel like this, that's where I wear this fragrance. I kind of keep it for the cooler weather. But if you have the money, to make this your signature scent, I totally think that this is not only signature scent worthy, but just with the profile that it brings, you could totally utilize it as a signature scent. You just might have to replace your bottle once every year, once every couple of years, depending on how much you spray. And for me personally, I just can't afford that. So I'm gonna reserve it for you know special occasions, date nights, things like that, and typically wear it in the cooler weather. There is no way that I can talk about Roja Parfums and not talk about the packaging uh, that they bring. So we'll take a closer look at this bottle. As you can see, a really awesome gold reflective label on the front there. It says Roja Parfums Amber Oud and the concentration, which is Parfum. It's got a uh, Roja Parfums on the side, on both sides actually, and this amazing ambery, almost deep red color juice, it's absolutely beautiful. On the cap, you've got the Roja signature. And then on top here, these are actually Swarovski crystals. So really, really luxurious attention to detail. Let's take a peek at this box. Um, it has a really nice uh, gold finish to it. It has a repeating embossed uh, pattern all around it. Um, it's got the signatures on the side, on almost every side. Roja Parfums on top, some information on the bottom, and then it actually lifts up like this. And when you first get it, it reveals the fragrance like that, which is a really nice touch. It kind of sits in this really silk, black silk-like material, um, just super luxurious appointments. And I expect nothing less from Roja Parfums. This brand really top to bottom when it comes to their fragrances and their packaging and their marketing, everything is just extremely classy, extremely luxurious. Um, so this is uh, right on par with most of the fragrances in this line, really awesome stuff. Okay, so in terms of scent, what does this smell like? So. This is, at its core, a rose and oud combination. So you definitely have that classic rose oud combo, but this is taken to the next level. There are so many naturals that are used in here. Um, so real natural rose, real oud, uh, real ambergris that's in this. So just a really um, natural smelling fragrance. It smells like the price tag would uh, lead you to believe, just very expensive. Um, 
the ambergris is what sets it apart, along with some of the fresher notes in here, the bergamot, the lime, the lemon. Uh, the fig also gives it uh, up top this almost like sticky quality to it, this uh, slightly sweet, slightly sticky feel to it. That kind of fades as you go into the mid and some more of the florals kind of pop into play. It becomes less sticky. And all in all, you get this incredibly smooth experience. This is one of the smoothest fragrances I have ever smelled. And while yes, it is that rose oud combination at its core, it has so many facets to it that separate it from your traditional rose and oud combination. And there's a lot of um, contrasting elements to it, which makes it uh, just one of my favorites. So, you know, I had mentioned you get that sweet, almost sticky like uh, experience up top. Um, I'm attributing that to the fig. It might not be the fig, but in my head, that's what I'm, I'm thinking that it is. But you get this sweetness mixed with this saltiness from the ambergris. You get a sticky experience and then a smooth experience as it dries down. You get some fresh elements, but then it's also animalic. You get some floral components and then it's also extremely woody. So just a lot of contrasting elements that work so well together and create just this incredibly smooth and luxurious feel. Full disclosure here, this is one of, actually this is my favorite fragrance currently. Um, it was Creation E, so I'm a big Roja fanboy. Um, really love the brand. And so Creation E for the longest time was my favorite fragrance. This has dethroned that at least temporarily and right now, this is my favorite fragrance uh, of all time. I just think it is so masterfully done. Um, the performance, let's talk about the performance is phenomenal. Uh, it's really, really great. Um, it, it is a pure perfume, so the highest concentration of fragrance that you can get, um, and it definitely reflects that in the performance. Um, you spray it on, you're gonna get 12 hours plus on your skin. If you get it on your clothes, it's gonna hang out Honestly, you're gonna have to wash your clothes two or three times to really remove this fragrance. It just really hangs on um, to your skin and to clothes. And then in terms of projection, um, it does project really well for the first, I would say, two to three hours. And then in my experience, it does tend to sit a little bit closer to the skin, but I actually like that with this style of fragrance. Like this is not gonna be for everyone. Um, it is a bit challenging. I wouldn't go out and blind buy this, especially at the price point and especially with how you know animalic this can be i would not go out and and blind buy this sample it for sure but i like the fact that it doesn't project like crazy and fill up a room necessarily it's almost like after a couple of hours it's something to be discovered so as somebody gets in your right in your area or in your bubble they're going to smell you if you give somebody a hug they're going to smell you if somebody's walking behind you or you walk past them you can guarantee that they're gonna smell you. The performance is just absolutely fantastic. And you know, with the scent profile being the way it is, um, with some of the notes, I thought maybe it would kind of smell a little bit older than it does. Like before I smelled this, I was doing some research and thinking, hmm, the note breakdown, I almost feel like I'm too young to be wearing it. And then I got it on skin and it's actually a bit more youthful than I anticipated. I'm not saying it's not a mature fragrance. I do think it is, you know, mature. Somebody in their 30s, 40s, they have their stuff together. Um, like I said, I think that that is probably Roja's target demographic. But I think I feel very comfortable when I wear it. It doesn't feel out of place on my skin. Um, it's just perfectly well done and truly, right now, my favorite fragrance of all time. So overall, I highly recommend that you get at your hands on at least a sample. I know sampling it can be expensive in itself. Um, you know, small samples can run $30 and up, depending on the size that you get, and that is expensive. But if you are into fragrance, if you're a perfume lover, um, if you're a niche perfume lover specifically, and you are into it for the art of perfume, this is an absolute must try. I truly think, I've smelled probably over 1500 fragrances at this point. This really is at the top of, 
of what I have smelled in my experience. So I highly recommend that you at least get a sample, try it on your skin and, and see what you think. Definitely don't blind buy. Like I had mentioned, it's a bit animalic, but overall I cannot recommend this enough. Roja Dove completely knocked this one out of the park. And uh, I believe it is one of their best sellers in the brand and for very good reason. I like Amber Oud, can you tell? I really like it. But that's all for me on Amber Oud by Roja Dove. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this fragrance uh, before? What are some of your favorite uh, fragrances from Roja Parfums? I would love to know. Let's get a conversation started down in the comment section and I will see you guys soon.